So it's interesting about this, right, because it's, it does begin to dovetail us into the protests of the past couple of days. People using their kids. I, now, yeah, I know that yeah. this is meant to be the rhetorical device that says... Well, and someone think about the children, right, which was Reverend Lovejoy's wife in The Simpsons. Mm -hmm. That, of course was a joke at the time. It's now become uh, the way that many people try to fight their fights. We saw kids yesterday uh, at the, the State Library in Melbourne in their school uniform mm -hmm. holding up flags. Mm -hmm. We saw kids at the Opera House. The mm. preacher, the preacher celebrating yep. was born here. Joe, how do we confront this? Where firstly, let's take the kids off the table as 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 a way of trying to emote other people mm -hmm. to agree yep. with us. But secondly, as I was talking about before with James, thirty seven percent of people, just thirty percent seven percent of the people have pride in the country. Now yep. I know that pride in the country has been interpreted at different times. I'm not suggesting you know uh, uh, it's uh, Southern Cross tattoos for everyone, yep. but that is a problem that I think leads to where we got this week. Yeah, absolutely. And I, I, I remember, no, no, I remember very, I remember very clearly uh, years ago having a, um, a conversation with a, a sort of Labor right thinker who just said, why isn't it left wing to be patriotic? You know, why, why, you know, and we, obviously we Come are on a unity ticket on that, on that front. Um, I think this actually underscores why or where rather the yes campaign has failed. When you say we're a great country and we want to be greater and we can do this by making sure everyone has equal share in the greatness that we have to offer, you win votes, you make people feel good, you make them feel like they are doing something good for, um, for Indigenous people who are struggling. When you say we're a racist country that has a violent, dark history and you need to do this to atone for that, suddenly the voters are just running away like a flock of seagulls. Well, so, it, uh, 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 sorry, sorry, it is time I'm for those blind. old voices to move away. Jacinta Price presents well, a what, new way of looking this is at what things. The voice She's is trying to do, Bronwyn. That no, modernity please. came, we've embraced it, there are opportunities for people. Do not divide us on race. Make sure that you take the opportunities and we make sure that people get the opportunity. Well, and I, th so I think that's fantastic. Yeah, but let me, let but me, just me, everyone else... Right? I, I, right? I, I, I let everyone else, I let everyone else finish. I'm the only person here saying yes, so just give me a shot. Right. Firstly, when you talk about a racial divide or dividing people by race, mm -hmm. there is already a racial divide in this country. If you're Indigenous, you live less than... Uh, like, Joe, eight years younger Joe, than everybody... You die are, eight years earlier are than everyone else. Statistics. There are... That, no, and it's in education, it's Hang in on. health, no, I, okay. it's in employment, right. it is but everywhere, it's right? So that, that all Aboriginal people. In, in the remote regional communities... What's the... This grant... This... This grand Alexa, where apparently once this happens, this remarkable thing, it'll descend from heaven and all the answers will be there. Well, literally, if the no answers one is are saying out that. there, literally nobody is saying that. Just, 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 who said just that? legislate it, just legislate it, and let's <laughs> let the miracle let the miracle happen. It's, Show me it's the ridiculous Show me that, the quote. that apparently that there's there's somehow a hidden knowledge that will only become evident to us when an uh, unelected body uh, it starts their rounds of Parliament House telling people basically I can, how, I can, you know, how, how I to, how to run the show. I can give you plenty of examples. It's, it's just absurd. It's an absurdity. And the big thing about uh, what I'm getting all the time, I've been handing out for the last two days, I'm getting this. $400 million this is costing us? Yes, yes. $400 million? Dollars. We're going to... Pee that up against the wall. There is so much more we could have done with that money. <laughs> well, it's only peed up against the wall if it's a no vote. But the point is that... Well, funny it, thing about democracy, <laughs> no, when you let people fine. vote, I'm, I'm one of two things process. might happen. I respect the process. But speaking of democracy, if I could just finish, um, the, the reason why these systems have been failing Indigenous people is because you talk about going to the hospital, right? Often yes. they don't like to use the healthcare Correct. system or they're suspicious of the healthcare system or they're because, they think, because, they think it's, no because they think it's run by the white colonial oppressors or whatever. The voice takes away that excuse. Oh. The same with oh, interaction Joe. with the cops. No. The voice takes away that anxiety. The well, same with the, gro the grog argument. bands. Oh my no, God. no, if you, no, with the grog no, bands... No, it was the, the Annandale inner, argument. It was the, no, 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 it was the inner, it was the inner the suburban... Argument. It was the inner suburban lefty wankers like the Greens who said, you can't have grog bands, it's Racist. The Indigenous leaders on the ground said, no, we need them, otherwise all hell will break loose. They Jerry, were not listened to. It's, if that if was actually amplified, if there's an issue with poverty, if there's an issue with poverty,
poverty, I can assure you, Joe, it is just as evident for the white people living in the area as it is for the Aboriginal people living in the area. Correct. I'll tell you what, pov poverty does not discriminate. And in, if you go to the, the towns or the remote areas, the remote towns, it, the issue is intergenerational poverty, not intergenerational trauma, intergenerational poverty. Therefore, you must look after people in the circumstances you find them in, not by reason of the colour of their skin.